All right, if you were out and about enjoying a nice fall weekend, you might have missed all the big celebrity news. Well, lucky for us, East Justin Sylvester has the scoop on everything y'all need to know. Hey, Justin. Oh, my God, you were there, man. You were in the middle of BravoCon. I, it was my first BravoCon, and I cannot believe what I saw. Are you okay? Honestly, I'm still shook. There are a lot of things to unpack from BravoCon, one being the fact that I don't know if you know this, but if you do a shot ski with Andy, you are throwing your name in the hat to be a real housewife of New York. I'm just letting you know. What? what? Tell us. <laughs> yes, yes. No, I'm just joking. I'm just joking. But Bravo Khan is literally like Coachella for Bravo Holics. <laughs> it is one of my favorite weekends now, and so much happens. You know when you like see somebody fighting in public and you have to pretend like, you know, like you're not watching, you know? Yes, yes. At but Bravo then you Khan, stay and watch. At BravoCon, not only can you stay and watch, you can pick up your phone and record it, okay? So it's, <laughs> it is a crazy thing. But one of the most important things to come out of BravoCon is Andy Cohen telling everybody who the new cast of The Real Housewives of New York is. Who are and they? And I think you guys yeah, might know, know some people on it. Them. We're, we, 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 who are they? Tell us the rest. Tell us everybody. Okay, so there are seven new cast members. Cy De, De Silva and Jenna Lyons, yes. two people who have made a name and a face for themselves on this show, actually, are on the show with five other diverse, amazing women. You can find them all and their bios online. You have to check them out. I am so excited for this. Yeah, oh first of all, we God. love Sai and Jenna. Yes. Jenna has had a huge career. Huge. She worked at J. You know, yeah, she's she basically like a VP, wasn't so she? It's, a, it's interesting. I was shocked that she joined the show, but I'm so excited Me because she has her. such an interesting story and she's such a big part of New York. Yeah. This is going to be amazing she, for the franchise. They, they got some great people. Yeah. And Donna was there too, so we're going to hear a little bit more about Bravo Khan, get the overview. Okay, All tell right. us about Bruno Mars. You guys, I am so sad to say that Silk Sonic is not going to leave the door open for the Grammys this year. They have pulled their album out of contention for any awards. This comes with a statement that says, we truly put our all into this record, but Silk Sonic would like to gracefully, humbly, and most importantly, sexually, <laughs> bow out of submitting our album this year. What does, that mean? Wait, wait, what does that mean? Are they being funny? Everything they do is, is sex sexy. Listen, I don't know what it meant. All I know is I'm going to use this statement for everything. <laughs> Getting out of drinks, dinner, coming to New York, I'm using this. But they didn't give us a reason why okay. they're pulling out. But two people who did give us a reason, The Weeknd and Drake, are oh, also pulling why? out of the Grammys this year. Why is this happening? Well, I think there's some bad blood between the Grammys and those two artists. I remember when Hotline Bling came out mm -hmm. and they only put it in the rap category and oh. Drake was really upset yeah. about it. And then Blinding Lights came out a few years later and The Weeknd was upset that it didn't get Record of the Year, which mm -hmm. it should have gotten nominated for Record of the yeah. Year. Come on. Should've. It was the biggest it song. It wasn't nominated? Let's, it wasn't nominated. All right, let's okay. move on. We got we got big artists on, yes. and big tours. We are gonna we gotta start we getting got our a tickets. Busy what year ahead. All right, ladies. Tell us, tell us. Stop cutting back on the pumpkin spice lattes. Start selling things on Poshmark <laughs> and start taking out fifty dollars in cash back every time you go to the grocery store. <laughs> tell us why. Because the music legends are coming for your coins this 2023. I heard rumors. That four out of the seven wonders of music, I'm talking Beyonce, <laughs> Rihanna, Taylor Swift, Miss Jackson, because I'm nasty, are all supposed what? to go on tour next year. Come on. How is that possible? It's going to be amazing. I don't know how possible it is, but I, all I know is I better fire up that Tinder, so honey. I'm going to need four <laughs> boyfriends to get all these tickets yeah, seriously. for Christmas. Okay? Or just one, one sugar daddy. You know what I mean? <laughs> You know, you need four sugar daddies. You don't okay. want to bring the same one to the oh. same, you oh, know, you don't. concert. You don't. Right, okay, well, I've got my one that, sugar mama. Right. We I'll know take, where we're I'll going. I'll take care of you. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you, you, Justin. Justin.